Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you a little bit more about the area model of division and something called a leftover or a remainder. I know that we've talked a little bit about that in the past, but it's been really a long time since we did. So leftovers or remainders are, happen when um, the division doesn't come out equally or evenly. And that happens a lot in division and it can be really tricky. So let's try some. I've started with nine tiles. So I have nine tiles here and I'm going to make my division area model. I'm going to put the number nine here because that's the number of tiles that I have. And to make it not come out even this time, I'm going to choose to divide by two. That is, I'm going to make two rows. You remember about that with the area model. So I'll make two rows. And you may notice that there's this one left over here. And that's the remainder or the leftover. So how many, if I have nine tiles and I make two rows, how many are in each row? One, two, three, four. Two times four. So to do this, to show how many are left over, I could just write leftover one over here, or I can do something else, which gets us ready for longer division. Sorry about that, I hit the tripod with my foot. I could multiply two times four, two times four, and say that I've used eight tiles. So I used up eight tiles. And now if I subtract nine tiles, take away eight tiles, leaves one. And that's long division. That's division with a remainder. I know it's tricky, we'll do a lot of them. So we would write two, nine divided by two is four with a remainder of one. R means remainder or leftover. Wow, look at that stuff. That's great, right? Let's try another one. If you're acting this out with me, you can pause the video. So let's keep the nine tiles. And this time, let's divide by five. Nine tiles with five rows. All right, I can do that. One, two, three, four, five. Now I want to try to make another row. What you'll see, there aren't enough. So I cannot make a rectangle like this. This is not a rectangle. So these are all the leftovers. There are four left over this time. That's a lot of leftovers. So if I have nine tiles and I make five rows, how many are in each? One. 5 times 1, I used up 5 tiles. And when I subtract 9 tiles, take away 5, I have 4 left. So I have a remainder of 4 tiles. I have 4 tiles left over. Mm -hmm. I know, it's a big number. If I had one more tile, then I would be able to make another row, but I don't have enough. Again, if you're acting this out with me, you can put the video on pause. So let's work with another number. This is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's have 15 tiles. 15, and let's make four rows. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I think I can go again. Do I have enough tiles to make another row of four? No, I don't. These will be the leftovers. So we have 15 tiles and we divided by four, one, two, three, four, and we have three in each. So we have four times three, how many tiles did we use? 12. 15, take away 12, leaves three. So we have a remainder of three. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. that's, that's right. So you probably have a lot of questions. What if I don't want to use tiles, Mrs. Breuer? What if I wanna to try to do this in my head? That's a good question. So let's play it out without the tiles. 
let's say that we had 15 tiles and we wanted to find out how many rows, how, how many would be in each row if we had four rows. One thing that you can do is write the multiples of four. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and we know those keep going. And you could say, is there a number here that comes close to 15 but not going over? Mm -hmm. Here it is, it's 12. So four times mm is 12. That's why we did all that practice with four times mm is 12 in the past. Now you're gonna to get to use it. Four times three, one, two, three. Four times three is 12. And 15 minus 12 leaves the remainder of three. The cool thing about a video actually is that you can watch this over more than once. So it's kind of like me coaching and showing it to you a second time. Let's try one more. So I think that you would like me to use 13 tiles. One, two, three, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, if you were doing this, I'd say put the marker down. <laughs> okay, so we have 13 tiles. Remember how we did the multiples? So let's do make uh, three rows. And let's write the multiples of three here. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, and so on because we know multiples will keep going. So you might have a clue what's going to work here. So we'll make three rows and we'll put some more in each until there aren't enough to make another row. Thirteen tiles. I made three rows, one, two, three, four, with four in each. Remember to write it in the ones place not in the tens and not squished in the middle, right here. And now we would say three by four is 12. 13, take away 12, is one. So we had one tile left over. And you might have looked down here and seen that the closest number to 13 was 12. So we could have said three times mm equals 12, and that would be three times four is 12. Learning division takes a lot of practice. Be gentle with yourself and be patient. I'll post some IXL places for you to practice this if you haven't already done them. And no worries, you can watch it again. You can message me and I can help you out. Okay, it's good to talk to you. Be well.